Hi all. Today let's go through a new reporting which is added in order 14 accounting that is unrealized currency gains or losses. So now when you open accounting you have an access to a new report which is added here. So you can see here unrealized currency gains or losses. So this will display all open amounts on your balance sheet that uh, need or could be uh, re-evaluated. So uh, the information is proved by currency and their respective accounts. So when you open unrealized currency gains or losses, you can see here some currencies and the rate in Indian uh, rupee, you can see the rate. So you can see there are two currencies added to this report. You can see in this report. And you can see it is grouped by and you can see the accounts under this currency. So for these uh, accounts, you can see four columns that is balance in foreign currency, balance at operation rate and balance at current rate and adjustment. And you can, it is possible to unfold this. Uh, so you can see the general ledger. So, okay. so here you can see the entries, general items, you can see that. So here you can see each amount in the in each journal item. So here balance in foreign currency means it is a value that came from uh, within the bill. Then balance should op balance at, op at operation rate. This is the balance calculated in your currency at, at the time you receive the bill at the operation rate. Then you can see balance at current rate. That is uh, the amount we would get if we get paid right now. It's a current value at the time of report. Then you can see the adjustment. That is the value uh, should be added to the accounting in order to update your accounting reports with this new information. So you can adjust your amount from here. So if you want to adjust entry, then you can click this button that is adjust entry adjustment entry so here now no adjustment is needed so here you can see post entry so i am going to include my own post entries then i need to make some adjustment so i am clicking adjustment entry so you can balance uh, you can update your balance sheet uh, so here uh, now you are ready to select in which journal you are going to process this account entry uh, so you can see account entry that is uh, you have to uh, balance this amount in order to adjust uh, your entry. Then here you can select the expense or income account. Then choose a date you want this to be reported and you can set the reversal date. And after adding these details, you can create entry and make adjustments. So you can see some amount here, uh, some amount negative, and you want some adjustment for that. And you can create entry to balance that. Okay, so I am again coming back to our post entries here. Okay, so let's go to configuration and enable that is active a different currency okay so here i have some currencies that are not active so let me make this cad active and you can see the currency rate here So when you go inside this, you can see the details and you can see the rates here. So you can create new rate for today. I am adding two and then I can save this. Okay, so let's create an invoice, customer invoice in this currency.
then add a product here. Okay, cancel the price here, 1,500. And then I'm going to, let's, I'm confirming this invoice. And registering the payment. So when you come to unrealized currency gain so losses here you can see one more currency is added that is CAD and you can see the rate here that is 2.0 and you can see the debtors account here and here you can see the entry and the amount also can be seen here so it is balanced you can see adjustment is now zero And again, if you want to make any adjustment, then you can click this adjustment. And it's also possible to print preview of this uh, unrealized currency gains or losses. And you can also export this as XLS. So when you open this, you can see the report we have opened. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any order implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to order at cyprocess.com.